This is an ABC News special report. Good afternoon to all of you. I'm Diane Sawyer here at ABC News World Headquarters in New York with George Stephanopoulos because there is big breaking news from the White House. This is an historic political and cultural moment in this country and the issue, gay marriage. That's right. The White House facing a lot of questions this week in the wake of Vice President Biden saying he's comfortable with gay marriage. On Sunday, North Carolina becoming the 30th state yesterday to ban gay marriage. The president made the news in an interview with our friend and my GMA co-anchor Robin Roberts down at the White House. So let's go right there. Robin. George and Diane, based upon what you just said, yes, the vote last night in North Carolina, what Vice President Biden said earlier in the week and what his press secretary, uh, Jay Carney, said yesterday and that the president would speak for himself on his position. So I asked the president, does he still oppose same-sex marriage? I have to tell you, as I said, I, I've been going through an evolution on this issue. Um, I've always been adamant that uh, gay and lesbian uh, Americans should be treated fairly and equally. Uh, and that's why, in addition to everything we've done in this administration, rolling back Don't Ask, Don't Tell, uh, so that uh, you know, outstanding Americans can serve our country, uh, whether it's no longer defending the Defense Against Marriage Act, which uh, tried to federalize uh, what has historically been state law, uh, I've stood on the side of broader equality for uh, the LGBT community. Um, and I had hesitated on gay marriage, uh, in part because I thought civil unions would be sufficient, that that was something that would give people hospital visitation rights and uh, other uh, elements that we take for granted. Uh, and uh, I was sensitive to the fact that uh, for a lot of people, you know, the, the word marriage was something that evokes very powerful traditions, religious beliefs, and so forth. Um, but I have to tell you that over the course of uh, several years, as I talk to friends and family and neighbors, uh, when I think about uh, members of my own staff who are in incredibly committed monogamous relationships, same-sex relationships, who are raising kids together, uh, when I think about uh, those soldiers or airmen or marines or uh, sailors who are out there fighting on my behalf uh, and yet feel constrained even now that Don't Ask, Don't Tell is gone because uh, they're not able to uh, commit themselves in a marriage. Uh, at a certain point I've just concluded that um, for me personally it is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. So once again, the president supports same-sex marriage, and Diane and George, he was very comfortable in discussing this. We had other topics that we discussed, but the majority of the interview was on same-sex marriage, and he had a lot more to say about that. It was very important for him to say it himself and not have others speak on his behalf. And Robin, did he tell you anything about why he decided to do it today? Did Vice President Biden force his hand, or was that planned? Uh, I did ask him that about what the vice president said and also his education secretary, Arne Duncan, also just recently uh, in support of same-sex marriage. Uh, the president laughed and he said um, that this was a discussion that they had been having and that they were planning on having perhaps before the election. So perhaps uh, the vice president did, did jump the gun just a little <laughs> bit. But I asked him if he was angry at all with his administrators, uh, top people in his administration uh, being so vocal. And he said absolutely not. He was not upset at all with them. And, and Diane, there had been a lot of debate inside the Obama campaign for a long time about how to do this and when to do this. And there were many who were thinking it shouldn't come out before mm -hmm. the election. But in many ways, the president also forced into a bit of a corner. You had those comments by the vice president. You had these votes. You know the president was going to be getting questions on this straight through to the election. And probably the, the big key, already his convention chairman, the Democratic leader in the House, mm -hmm. Nancy Pelosi, a majority of Democrats were trying to put into the platform at the Democratic convention support for gay marriage. So the president also facing a big fight at his convention that he did not want to have. Right, but we should be pointing out that there are 30 states in this country that have laws now opposing same-sex marriage. And of course, his presumed opponent in the campaign Governor Mitt Romney opposes it, and I understand our Jake Tapper is standing by right there at the White House. What is the Romney camp saying? 
Well, Mitt Romney was asked about this while campaigning today. Uh, his response was that he supports uh, legal rights for uh, some legal rights for same sex couples, such as hospital visitation rights, but that he opposes same sex marriage. He would not go into detail when reporters uh, pressed him on this. Uh, he is in favor of a federal constitutional amendment against same sex marriage. That's one of the reasons uh, President Obama told uh, Robin Roberts about why he was talking about this, is because his opponent uh, was believed in making this a federal issue uh, and he said that uh, the president said that he did not he thought this was a state-by-state -state issue uh, and the president has also as he pointed out in that interview talked about the many steps he's taken uh, that the gay and lesbian community uh, have supported in terms of uh, uh, doing away with don't ask don't tell and other steps that Mitt Romney opposed at the time so there will be very stark differences on this issue although of course everyone both campaigns Obama and Romney expect the big issue in this election will not be same-sex marriage it will be the economy and neither side wants this to be the big issue issue in the election, but you know, whether this is from conviction, political calculation, some mix, this is a big move by the president. He has been on the record for years against same-sex marriage. Now he becomes the first president to say he believes that men and men should have the right to marry, women and women should have the right to marry. That is, this day will, will always be marked by that decision. And Robin, I want to bring you back in because he talked about Sasha and Malia at one point. He did. He talked about being around the dinner ta table with Mrs. Obama and that they would talk about some of their friends and that their parents were same sex. And it, it, he feels it's generational. For his children, it was th no big deal. And so he felt that that was perhaps a conversation that was taking place across uh, the country. But yes, he did talk about Malia and Sasha. I asked him also about his conversations with Mrs. Obama. And she said, absolutely, he said, absolutely. That is something that they have discussed over the years. And she is fully supportive as well. So again, we'll, we'll let the president speak for himself tonight. I'll do the plug here tonight on World <laughs> News and tomorrow on Good Morning America. Well done. You should be in the TV business. <laughs> I, well don't done. I don't have a shot. I don't have a shot. <laughs> and as Robin points out, polling shows if you're under the age of 40, 61 percent of people under the age of 40 in this country do approve same-sex marriage. And just last year, for the first time, a majority of Americans said they approve same-sex marriage, right. even though you have those 30 states who voted to ban it. Well, I will do this less well than Robin, but <laughs> here it is. Robin's interview, of course, is on ABCNews.com right now. And we will have a lot more tonight on World News. And, of course, tomorrow morning on Good Morning America with a full wrap-up for all of us at ABC News. Thank you for joining us. And George and I hope you have a great day. This has been a special report from ABC News.